It was the first day on June, June the 23rd when Britons voted to leave the European Union. Since then, Britain has a new parliament with Theresa May as the Prime Minister. Last week, the South African Institute of International Affairs, together with the British High Commission, held a talk about the United Kingdom and South Africa relations in terms of what happened with the Brexit. To give us further details is the outgoing British High Commissioner to South Africa, Dame Judith McGregor. Dame, it's a very good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Good morning. Well, let's start with the talks. What came out of the talk and uh, what do relations look like between um, South Africa or the, rather the two nations post-Brexit? Uh, I think what came out of the talk actually was just the importance and if you like the kind of uncertainty that people have as to what the future now holds since we voted last June to leave the European Union. So my task at the talk, I think, was to take a very wide range of questions about that and to say three things, really. Firstly, Britain hasn't left the European Union yet. We are still in it, and we have yet, obviously, to trigger Article 50, but we expect to do that very soon. Secondly, that we may be leaving the European Union, but we remain in Europe, and we intend to have the closest and the best possible relationship with the European Union going forwards. But thirdly, and perhaps most importantly for South Africans, we see this as a time of opportunity to expand our relationship to we have a very, very rich and full relationship already as members of the Commonwealth and G20 and many other organizations. But we certainly would like to expand that. And then in the trade area where Mr. Davies has just been in London at the Commonwealth Trade Ministers meeting, I think we've been having talks about ways in which when the moment comes for us to renegotiate our agreements after leaving the European Union, we can actually take forward but even build further on the existing economic partnership agreement. In terms of the uncertainty, I mean, that's what uh, everyone is talking about in terms of, uh, you know, the kind of trading relationships South Africa will have with the, with the UK. What do you have to say with regard to that? I mean, you mentioned that you're still part of the EU. Well, that's right. So the Economic Partnership Agreement, which came into place obviously last October, gives South Africa and the countries of SACU plus Mozambique considerably greater access to our markets, considerably lower tariffs, well, virtually very few tariffs across the board. So it's an opportunity for these countries to trade more with us. And obviously, we want to trade more with you. Our trade overall has gone up by about 25% over the last decade. And I'm delighted during my time here, it's grown quite steadily between 5 to 10%. But we could be doing much more. We hope that going forwards, we'll make maximum use of the Economic Partnership Agreement, that we will perhaps take that forward intact as we leave the European Union. But then we'd like to look at actually expanding that. I think we may be worldwide the biggest drinkers of South African wine. We certainly love your fruit and vegetables. But there are many, many other projects and products, obviously, that we would like to contribute to. This is a partnership. The Economic Partnership Agreement is exactly what it says, that we want to stimulate investment in both directions, we want to stimulate trade in both directions, and we want to increase employment in both countries. Yeah, no, it's certainly there are uh, mixed views on this issue with some analysts saying that Brexit will be terrible for Africa's largest economies. Some are talking about the implications that will be minimal. But it, 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 there's also a, a rumor floating around that uh, South Africans will be able to travel visa-free to the UK. How true are those rumors? I think at the moment, while we're members of the European Union and we haven't begun even the negotiations, um, it's a little bit difficult to speculate ahead. As I've said many times when asked about this, I think, you know, that worldwide countries are actually introducing methods to be surer about who is actually entering their country, working in their country, studying in their countries, including South Africa, which has obviously a big white paper out still on border management. So I think we're all going to be wanting to be even surer about how that works through. The trick will be to make all our entry arrangements slicker, faster, less onerous and ideally cheaper for all our citizens moving forwards. All right. Now, I believe you serving your last month as High Commissioner. How has it been in South Africa so far and uh, when can we perhaps expect your, your replacement? 
Well, I did. I come to the end of three and a half years in South Africa just this month. And uh, my successor, obviously, we're hoping will come shortly afterwards once all the formalities are taken through. But uh, it's been a great world for me, I must say, with a tremendous number, tremendous amount of great things that I think we've achieved between us during my three and a half years. And I look back particularly, obviously, on those areas. I think just before I came on air, I was listening to Mr. Radibe Khadebe talking about education. And that's been a big area that we've worked through so that we have a program where all teachers of English in South Africa will have gone through some special training organized by the British Council with new materials to assist English language teaching, but also all language teaching in South Africa. Right, I'm look. fascinated and delighted by the fact that we've managed to really boost the number of scholars and lots of other educational contacts. Well, that, that's good news indeed. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for this morning. Thank you so much and all the best with your future endeavours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed. There you have it. Uh, thank you to the British High Commissioner to South Africa, Dame Judith McCrigger. She ends her term at the end of this month and she was of course talking to us about Brexit and what it means for South Africa and the UK relations. Well, we're taking a break here on Morning Live. When we come back, we'll give you our 7 o'clock news bulletin.